This video demonstrates some new features and enhancements included in version 11.2. Contour nesting 180 degrees, multi-layer printing, help links, and much more. Version 11.2 is a minor update that does not require the purchase of a new license for version 11 users. Contour nesting 180 degrees has been implemented for the step and repeat and compose interfaces. Now you can save media by printing in accordance with the fibre's orientation. This new function is designed especially for fabric, textile, traffic signs and packaging markets. Caldera RIP now allows you to print multiple layers on the same spot of the media. The image can be equal or different. This technique is often used when printing on transparent medias or when the job is visible on both sides. This function allows you to do sandwich printing. Here is an example of an application with backlight off and on. The image appears differently in day and night. Help links from Caldera Rips modules to Caldera Desk overview pages have been added. They are always located at the bottom left and become green as you mouse over. When clicking on them, they open Caldera Desk with the module overview. There, you can navigate through the articles as you wish. Please note that you must have a Caldera account to log in to Caldera Desk. Let's have a quick look at other Caldera version 11.2 enhancements. Now you can add a cuttable frame around barcodes or QR codes, and for grand cut, you can define the colour of the current white space around registration marks. New charts for ink limitation are available, as well as new, textile-friendly targets. In Easy Media, you can add comments at calibration creation that will be shown in the print module and in the spooler. A new spectrophotometer for M0, M1 and M2 measurements is now available, the Total Color QB. You can find all the enhancements and much more in the What's New section available on Caldera Desk under Product Manuals. For any help with our software, be sure to visit our Caldera Desk Knowledge Centre.